I need a little something like a tripod or a, I don't have my tripod with me. That's good. Yeah, that works. Okay. Kathy's here. Hi. We are cooking dinner tonight and then we're planning a trip. We don't know where yet, but we should we'll just, find out. If you have a globe, if you just spin the globe and just like point it. Oh yeah, there, I don't have cool. a globe though. Today we're making kale pesto ravioli. Our inspiration was Global. Cactus Club. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It was yeah. from Cactus Club, but then we had the recipe from Loblaws. Yeah, so like I went to Loblaws and they had like all these little, sorry, all these little like recipes. So I took a few of them probably a couple months ago. Cactus Club has really good like butternut squash ravioli. So that's why I want to try this one tonight. Yeah. Quick trick with honey is that it's really sticky. So if you coat it with oil first, then the honey will slide right off. So now we're doing the sweet potato, which I just boiled. We're putting it into the food processor and it's gonna be the inside of the ravioli. flat wontons. I'm just cooking some shrimp. Sorry it's so dark. My light here doesn't really work. Yeah. Don't make it flat. That was more durable than I thought that they would be. Oh no! You got a droplet in already! <laughs> this is our Instagram play. Okay, we have to keep on, it clean. This looks so ugly already. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. So second attempt. <laughs> so triangle is facing out, right? Yeah. So much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it can be now. Okay. So, this is Rita. Hi. And this is her boyfriend Kim. Hey there. So I work with Rita and um, a bunch of us or a bunch of people from work. We're just going out for dinner right now. Oh, not drinking. And drinking. drinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're doing carpool karaoke. Carson's the best singer in our office. Supposedly. Carson, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm driving. It's dangerous to talk to the driver. Carson. today because these guys want me to vlog. This is Michael and he's gonna have a vlog up too. So I will link it right here or down below. Right It'll here. happen. It'll yeah. happen. It'll okay, happen. You're gonna put it up. I'll put it up. Yeah. And Kenny, Kenny's we're trying to get Kenny, Kenny to vlog because he always tries to get me to vlog or tries to make up all these ideas. Like last winter he wanted me to um, he wanted me to make a snowman. Did I tell you this? He wanted to me to like make a snowman and put some like bag with like red dye in it and the head and like smash it with some of that. What is wrong with you, Kenny? Fuck you guys. Kenny, Kenny, what, what is wrong with you? Stay with the camera. What? Nothing is wrong with me. Yeah. Can I tell the story of how Kenny's a really mean friend? Yes, okay. please do. How do you throw a okay, peanut so, at you? <laughs> um, I just found out that well, they went to go eat before, and Kenny was throwing peanuts at Michael. No, what? The Which you think is like maybe like they're just immature she, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. She thinks that threw peanuts at you. She did. She said it when you Snapchat me. <laughs> yeah. You said we got our the, the peanuts taken away because I was throwing it. Right? No. I can't remember what you said. 
<laughs> but anyways, but I found out that Michael's actually allergic to peanuts. Okay, and good, just good. I, had, and I had an incident on Friday. So I went to the hospital this last Friday, and Kenny is being insensitive by bouncing peanuts off my face. Wait, so they had peanuts, no, and then they friend. took it away. Michael was like, I can't eat peanuts, and I'm like, oh no, we removed all peanuts from the entire restaurant forever. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And Michael's not spin it, like I... So Kenny's actually a good friend, because he was making sure that there weren't peanuts in the food for Michael. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah. Kenny's actually a really good friend. And Michael's a bad liar. <laughs> no, and I learned two things today. Horrible. Yeah, which I feel like we already knew. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I told this so many lies before. I remember what time. Like, <laughs> you told us about, about your vision. Oh yeah, I told her. I told her I was legally blind. <laughs> <laughs> she believed me. I was like, yeah, I'm legally blind. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. I was like, I she promises she was sober. That's not cool. No, uh, that was last time. Anyways, you have like a talent or something? Yeah. So today I'm doing day 15 of push ups for vets. So I'm doing 22 push ups to raise awareness for uh, veterans and PTSD. So what, today we're going to amp it up. We're going to do the push ups and then we're going to down. Tonight, Andy and I are going to his work dinner mm -hmm. at a Korean restaurant. No, it's called Korean dinner, not Korean restaurant. Oh, it's Korean it's a, food? It's at a Scottish, Scottish cultural center, so it's Scottish cultural center. Oh, that's a little bit confusing. I feel like I haven't done my hair and my makeup in so long, so I never ever have the time to do it. But what? it's fun when I do have the time. <laughs> Now, 
Did we just pick up. No, just try Not in the park. Oh. I have my hair up like a little bun today, but I had it on the top of my head and I was like, why does it look so weird? Like, whenever other people do it, it looks so cute, but when I do it, it just looks like a piece of poop on my head. Like that emoji. Like, just like a piece of poop. Here. I lowered it a little bit, so I think it looks a little bit better. Oh, coffee. Coffee took so long to get this morning. 10 minutes. They're being so slow. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, so we're a little bit late today. But we're also going to an earlier service, so there's less traffic on the road. I agree with that. I could care less how it looks. About what? Like with the purple dining room example? Yeah. And when you say, oh, what color? Or like, what shirt? I'm like, I don't care. Like, I <laughs> legit don't care at all. Do you think that's true, what he was saying about um, how that writer said that, like, like He's a house is kind of just like, like a castle for the woman and the man doesn't really care? Yeah, I actually, like, would not care at all. Like how things are put, like anything. Well, I would like to decorate it. Yeah, you can. But I would it definitely ask you what color. Too. I would not care. I'd be like, do whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know how long. I guess for like eight the weeks. next month. So next. So eight weeks total. Six more weeks. Um. So our church is talking about like marriage and relationships. So this is the second week, and they talked about communications, uh, not communications, communication. They talked about communication, and. I really liked it. It was, yeah, it was really neat. He was talking about how there's like logical communication and emotional communication and how like you can mean, a f you can mean something one way, but you can also interpret it the other and that's where it leads to like miscommunication, which but, I thought was yeah. very true. Um, for example, like the guy wants to like go eat out, have dinner out, and then the wife will interpret it as, oh, you don't like my cooking, like you think I'm going to poison our kids. Like, like that. So like the guy's thinking in a logical sense, whereas the girl or the woman is thinking in an emotional sense. So she interprets it emotionally, yeah. even though it's a logical question. And then also they talked about the five love five love languages by who? Who's it by? Gary Chapman. Gary Chapman. So like everyone feels loved differently. So for example, one person might feel loved by receiving gifts, and the other person might be uh, might feel loved by words of affirmation. So you, you really have to learn what your partner's love language is to kind of be able to show them love. Show them love, yeah. Yeah, because it might not. Because usually, typically, he said that people tend to show love the same way that they like to receive it. And if it doesn't match that person's self how they receive love, then they might not feel loved. But I also really like the part of the end. The part of the end like stuck out to me so much when he was saying how like like we're supposed to be like preparing our spouses like. We want to have like good communication so that we prepare them for eternity when they meet God. It's not just like the next 10, 20 years. Yeah, because I think a lot of times like people want to fix their relationships, and I don't know because we're not married, so it's more like I want to fix conflict so that you know we make sure that we do have a good marriage. But I guess if we're thinking long term, it should be more like preparing each other like for eternity and not just for the next like 10 or 20 years. I like that part. Mm -hmm. I was like <laughs> mind blown. But um, all of these sermons are online too, so I'll put a link in the description too, so you can go see it if you want. We're out for lunch, but it's just Andy and I right now. Um, but we're waiting for his parents and for his grandma to come. His grandma's going back to Taiwan at the end of the week, so this is the last time that we're gonna have lunch with her before she leaves. Andy says that the nachos here are really good, so we're getting those. I think that we've had them before because he has mentioned them a while ago, but it's been a while since we've been here. We were probably here, I think we were here maybe almost a year ago now. Ooh, this looks good. Brunch. Do they have this now? These are the nachos that Andy said was really good. I swear good we've had these before. I think we did. I'm pretty sure that we had them the last time that we came. I think that we shared nachos and maybe like a soup and a small appy or something like that. I'm a huge sucker for nachos. <laughs> video. A video? Yeah. <laughs> Everything. And we're gonna find a cruise that might fit within the city. Yeah. 
not. Because we have to be like, we can only leave, we can only go for a certain, certain days too. So, if anybody works at Disney World, please let us know. Because we're trying to figure out how to buy tickets. Very cheap tickets. They're so expensive. They're like $100 a day. And I'm yeah, only well, to get in too. It's not even like food. Andy's dad made us dinner. Taiwanese beef noodle soup, right? Don't we take a picture? Number one. Number one. Number two. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. It looks so good. It looks like it was made in the restaurant. <laughs> Five. You gave me a low five. It's supposed to be high five. High five, not low five. That's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have a new vlog out next Thursday, so make sure you subscribe for that. And if you want something to watch in the meantime, you can check out one of these two vlogs here.